What's up? I am back after I even forgot how long it has been. No, this isn't my dog. <laughs> sit down, babe. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Ugh. Right. Yeah, this is Cooper. But I'll explain why I've got a dog here anyway. But as you can tell, completely different backdrop. And yeah, I moved. Well, I've been all over at the moment. <laughs> God, this is the first video I've tried to do and you're trying to get in on it. Um, so I decided to do some like different videos on YouTube now because my world, my life seems to be completely different as it was like five months ago. Um, so rewind a bit, fast foot law, fast forward, rewind, rewind. So about five, six months ago, I got so down and so low and the lesson I learned out of everything was do not fall in love with one of your friends and it came with some really harsh lessons and it came didn't it it came with some really hard lessons and really took me out my element kind of didn't know what to do with these situations because it's never happened to me before i've liked people in the past i've fallen in love with people in the past i yeah it's just one of those things however friendship wise i've never ever done it before so I mean, I've, I've had friends fall in love with me, but not the other way around. Especially such a hard, like, a real solid, very well perceived, very well oiled. It, it, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of emotions went into that friendship. And I'll hold my hands up now. I literally just lost myself in that. I got confused with the friendship. I actually thought it was more than that because of the love that I had. However, it was just my confusion and no one is to blame. Um, it does happen. I love how people say it's always someone's fault or someone led someone on. However, it's no one's fault. It is what it is. And when I decided to just break free and literally disconnect and literally stop contact with that friend, of course I regretted it because... I didn't want to cut all ties with that person. However, it has to be done. It's like a breakup. Well, inevitably, it felt like a breakup. Um, just that those feelings weren't returned. <laughs> God, you are loving this camera, aren't you? You're just loving it. So, yeah. By the way, this is no one's dog. This is just a dog I'm looking after. <laughs> it's not an ex-boyfriend's dog. <laughs> However, back on track. So... Five months have passed, I think, I think it is. And instead of doing the usual venting of my life um, via these YouTube videos, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do, each week, I'm gonna do a what if, like kind of, what would you do if you were me? In a situation that has happened recently. So, trust me, I've got a lot of what, what, what would I do? And yeah, I'm just gonna explain what's happened and especially because it's very like, prevalent in the gay community and it's gonna be mainly based on that. It's gonna have that feel of just what what's happened. At the moment, nothing really happens with me at the moment because <laughs> I became such a recluse. Um, I literally left London for like three months to um, look after my grandma who became extremely ill and me and my mum, who's, it's my mum's mum, so I was able to go and help my mum and literally get her mum, my grandma, back to full health and she is still with us, so I, not a religious man, um, but whatever, whatever being, whatever positivity, whatever energy, um, it has literally brought her back and without my mum, without me, without my grandma working as such a, such a well-oiled team, I don't think we would have had my grandma for any longer. So I'm truly thankful for what has happened, but it has come at a cost because it's made me reevaluate everything that I do, uh, the relationships I have in my life, who I am as a person. Um, it's almost kind of made me so much better, but it's almost, 
almost, in my eyes, pushed me a lot further down a different path. Uh, <laughs> you are a loving this. Um, so yeah, um, that's where I've been. I'm back in London now, in my beautiful new place in Ballum, which I now don't share with three other guys. I share it just with one person. And yeah, that one person is my, like, I class as a best friend. Um, I hate using that term anyway, because my best friends come and go like fucking every season. Every season of the year. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, the first one this week will be, you just have to wait, aren't you? Ha 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 it's not gonna be like, what if you do, if you like got left with a dog? <laughs> it was just so cute. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be doing like, yeah, different takes. So instead of emotional, there will be emotions, but instead of just like going, oh Kyle, my sister is called, my sister's a homophobe. Oh, oh, oh my, my mum's been through breast cancer. Oh, I've lost my dad like 16 years ago. I don't want to talk about those anymore. I want to talk about the real nitty gritty of what, what would I do in these situations? And they're, they can't be made up. It has to have happened because otherwise I'll just be jibber jabbering for 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, uh, watch out, look out for new videos. Cooper will not be in all of them. <laughs> Cause you're just a little camera whore, aren't you? You're just camera whore. Yeah. Um, and I can't, some of the things I can't discuss when you're here. Um, yeah, so yeah. Hi everyone. Hopefully, see I was gonna do this in my underpants, but that would just be really weird now with the dog there. Um, but yeah, so watch out for more videos coming very soon to my YouTube page. I know I've been m missing in action for so long, but to be fair, it wasn't in a good place, and now I am. So, yeah, let's keep this on track. So, bye, Cooper. What would you do?